Well, joining us now is George Blackton and Alexander Vlahos, who we've just seen in action there. Oh, I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> what on earth was going on? Um, well, that's, um, that's me on my, my new wedding day, isn't it? Yeah. Wife number two for season two. So, yeah, Philippe has to get remarried. And, um, as usual, the brothers are at each other's throats. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing new. I mean, one of the joys of this programme, uh, for those who haven't watched it yet, mm. and I'm new to it as well, is it is so beautiful to look at. Thank you. I mean, it's it gorgeous. really is, isn't it? The settings, I mean, leaving aside your acting, oh, all that stuff, and the wigs and all. Around going, I can't believe how lucky we are. <laughs> um, it does take someone else to come to set, like, a, like, a, like your parents coming to set, like a set visit, to say, do you realise like, how lucky you are? Because you, you, you spend six months filming there, and after a while you sort of become numb to the beautifulness that surrounds you, and then sort of take someone else to look out. You become spoiled then. You do, you be, yeah, we can't yeah. look at that. Do they close well. it to visitors for you? But, um, they close Versailles on Mondays for yeah. us, don't they? Not Shall just, not just for in? us. <laughs> they close Versailles on Mondays for us, and no, they close it um, for the public on Mondays, so we get to film there, so yeah, it's very lucky. Tell us a little bit about the costumes, because you mentioned a moment ago, that's a, a feature, isn't it? Because they're so sumptuous. I imagine that there's quite a bit of business before you get ready to film, <laughs> isn't there? Would that be fair to say? Yeah, I mean, there's, uh, it takes about two hours to get ready in the morning. We turn so up this is, this is sort of from top to toe. We turn up in jeans yeah. and T-shirt, and yeah. then and two hours later, we're, you know, Louis and Philippe, yeah. A lot of not wearing any clothes. Well, all based on truth, really. That's what... Yeah, time I mean, it's, um, <clears throat> it was an element of that world. You know, sexual politics was kind of how how people moved up and down that social political ladder in that building and what we see in this season a lot more is is that the, the women have a lot of power over these these men and you get to see them making really kind of strong political decisions um, in, in, in these um, boardrooms that, that the sort of researchers have said are kind of um, the, he said that, like the bedrooms are kind of boardrooms at yeah. Versailles. How familiar with you, were you with history, with the, with the sort of stories of that time <laughs> before you started the not, program? Not, well, I mean, not, not a lot for myself. I mean, I just knew what the what the history teachers told us at school, which is about our own history. So, you know, Charles II and the Great Fire of London, all that sort of period. But I knew nothing about this sort of period of time. I just sort of just took the script as the Bible, really, and, and that was my research. I'm kind of a lazy actor in that respect. <laughs> Sorry. Ty style speed dating. Yes, yeah, it's, um, it's, um, it's 17th century Tinder. <laughs> that's basically yeah. what it is. Yeah. So yeah, swipe left or swipe right, depending on who's more suited to myself. So yeah. And how true to real events do you think this is? Obviously, there's a massive amount of research that goes in to the story. Yeah. The, the key with historical drama is you're trying to. We're not making a documentary, so you, we consolidate timelines and we kind of move events around for. Dramatic purposes. Um, dramatic purposes. Yeah. Um, but most of it is, is authentic. And actually, the ch chief scientific researcher at Versailles is our historical advisor. And he often says that we're not going far enough with some things, which is... Um, what, you're being too true to life? Well, no, no, in the, some of the storylines that we're trying to um, replicate in the show, he says you, you, they're, they're even more ridiculous and outrageous. These people were sort of really um, colourful. Yeah. <laughs> Does the weak thing sometimes get competitive? Does the what? <laughs> the wig. The wig thing. Who's got the best wig? How many have you got? Four. I've got three, so it's already competitive. Uh -huh. Thank you for bringing that up. That's a lovely. <laughs> We're going to have a train ride back to London now, contesting wigs. Yeah. <laughs> lovely to see you this morning. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much, guys. Thank you for having us. First size on BBC Two tonight at nine o'clock.